Science 3. Predicting as a Science Process Skill Let the learners hold or touch a candle. Smell it, by wafting, and look at it closely. What is the shape, color, texture, and size of the candle? What if I light the candle? Can guess what will or can happen to the candle? Do you know that through careful observation, you can guess what will or can happen to things? What is a skill that is based on careful observations and is used in performing simple science activities? Predicting is a skill using observed patterns to guess or infer what will happen in the future. Let's try some activities. Suppose we would place the basin filled with water outside on a bright sunny day, what would happen to the water? Predicting time. The amount of water in the stainless basin would be less. Using patterns to predict the future. Pattern. A pattern is something that happens again and again in the same way. The days of the week are a pattern, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. A zebra has black and white stripes, that's a pattern too. To infer means to make a smart guess based on what you already know. If you see dark clouds in the sky, what do you infer might happen? Answer, it might rain. You hears meow sounds behind the wall. You infers that the two cats are playing. Future. The future is what hasn't happened yet, like tomorrow, next week, or even later today. You looks in the mirror. You imagines yourself becoming a doctor in the future. Let's try some activities. Match the terms in column A to the pair of synonyms in column B.
How can you tell what will happen next? Here's a pattern of weather for three days. Monday, sunny. Tuesday, sunny. Wednesday, sunny. What do you think will happen on Thursday? Answer, sunny. You used the pattern to infer what the weather might be like in the future. Look at this pattern. A dog barks when someone opens the gate. The second time someone opens the gate, the dog barks again. The third time someone opens the gate, the dog still barks. Now, if someone opens the gate again, what do you infer the dog will do? Answer, the dog will bark again. That's right, you noticed the pattern. The dog always barks when the gate opens. Anna's secret to success. Anna was a kind and cheerful grade 3 student who loved to play, but she also knew when it was time to study. One day, she had a science quiz. So, the night before, Anna sat at her table, opened her books, and reviewed her lessons. She even asked her mom to help quiz her. The next day, Anna got her test back, she got a high score. Wow! Studying really helped me, she smiled. A few days later, it was time for a math quiz. Again, Anna studied before the test. She practiced solving problems and read her notes carefully. Guess what? She got another high score. Then came a Filipino test. Once more, Anna studied and reviewed. And just like before, she passed with flying colors. Now, Anna has another test coming up, this time in English. She sits down at her desk, just like always, and starts to study. What do you infer will happen when she takes her test? Answer, she will get a high score again. Very good. You saw the pattern, when Anna studies, she gets high scores. So you infer that in the future, she will do well again if she keeps studying. Let's try some activities. Part A What happens next? 1. Read each scenario and guess what will happen next. One afternoon, Pio, Kaloi, and Zahn are playing outside when they notice the surroundings darkening and the sky becoming gloomy. Some of the kids start running home. Gloomy means dark or poorly lighted. In her science class, Rosario observes that the balloon gets bigger and bigger as air is pumped inside. What would happen if air were continuously pumped inside the balloon? Part B How long will the candle keep on burning? 1. Observe as your teacher performs the demonstration. 2. Complete the table by writing the burning time of the candle. Burning time is the time observed when the candle is burning until the flame goes out. Use a stopwatch to determine the time.
A. What happens to the candle's burning time as the jar's size increases? B. What will happen to the candle's burning time if an extra large jar is used to cover the lighted candle? How do you say so? Part C. Will it sink or float? Use a basin filled with two-thirds water to test the different sizes of the materials, marbles, crayons, pencils and coins. Place each object into a basin filled with water one at a time, and let the learners observe the outcome. Generalizations and Abstractions Describe how you can predict what will happen next. By carefully observing and finding patterns, we can infer what happens next or what will happen in the future.